What's up, New York? I'm H. Diggy. Welcome to this, another exciting episode of What's Up, New York, your favorite Caribbean TV news magazine since 2001. 2001. That's a long time. Now, speaking of time, people, by my recollection, it's been about mm, two years since I had the chance to host a full episode of What's Up, New York. I got to tell you, it feels good to be back. Now to all you fans who supported me during my 452 days in immigration detention, thank you! <laughs> thank you! And to all the hard-working men and women of ICE who treated me with the utmost dignity and respect during my 100, uh, excuse me, during my 14 months of immigration detention. Again, thank you, man. You are the utmost professionals. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to ask you to do me a personal favor. Next time you get down on your knees and you ask God for something, ask them to help the brothers and sisters that are currently caught up in the immigration system, some of whom are lost in limbo with no hope. Please don't forget them. Lydia! Excuse me, folks. Welcome back Your dreams were your ticket out Welcome back That was interesting Oh, very interesting <laughs> It's nice to see you again Oh, even better did seeing you, you. Me? Of course I did Did you miss me? Mm, yes, I did Alright, so what are you doing? Very nice to have you back Thank you What are you doing right now? Well, I came for the grand opening of uh, this lovely restaurant right here Hey, so you want to hang out and uh, host with me? Sure, it's been quite a while since we got to do that, so definitely I would love to hang out and do this week's episode. Alright, so let's make it do what it do. Alright people, this week we are right here in the East New York section of Brooklyn in front of Redberry Cuisine Jamaican Restaurant celebrating their grand opening. They're located at 686 Hagerman between Van Sicklin and... Hendrix. That's right. If you forgot what I said, it's here in East New York. So um, Lydia, why don't you tell them what's coming up on this week's show? We have a lot of great stuff coming up for this week's episode. Of course, you know the big tune for the summer is Conscience. Tearing up the charts with Yellow Bubble. Loved it. Uh, are you going to try to bubble for us? If you want to see some bubble footage, check out Labor Day 2012. we got all the hot footage right here. Also, we're going to have a really exciting world premiere of Free Up with Fireworks. That's what's coming up on this week's episode. All right. Um, you hungry? I'm, I'm very hungry. All right. So I think it's time for us to go sample some grub. Sample some red berry? Uh, red berry. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Deputy Inspector Corey Pegues, Commanding Officer of the 67th Precinct. We have two gun programs we would like to discuss today. One is our gun amnesty program. If you go into any local precinct within the confines of New York City and bring a gun or give us information that you have a gun at your house, we'll come pick it up. You'll get $100 for that gun. We'll give you a voucher where you can go and pick up $100. There's no questions asked and you don't have to have the fear of being arrested. We also have another program where if you give us any information leading to the arrest and conviction of someone with a gun, we'll give you a thousand dollars. And those two programs are very important to the New York City Police Department because the more guns we get off the street, the safer the streets can be. What's up, New York? I'm Lydia Patel, and we're on location. It's the grand opening of Redberry Restaurant. I'm here with one of their customers. You enjoying the good vibes today? Yeah, nice man. Saturday vibe. Yeah, man, definitely. You know what I'm saying? So nice, like, enjoying the, you know what I mean? People come out and enjoying themselves, you know? Okay, yeah, so man. What's up? A lot of great music. The DJ's been pumping some stuff. And yeah. one of the songs I heard was from an artist called Conscience. You, you familiar with Conscience? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, man, he's a um, quite different artist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So right now, what is the big tune from Conscious that you're definitely feeling? Well, um, Bubble Girl, Bubble. Cause hold on, hold on, hold on. You're going you're gonna to have to give me a line from that song. <laughs> bubble Girl, Bubble. Bubble Girl, Bubble. You know what I mean? Yes. I love it. Well, that's what's up. Uh, we had Some Fest 2012 and Rochelle was on location for What's Up New York. Here it is, coming up next, our exclusive interview with Conscience. 
Hey, what's up, New York? We're here with the man, the man Conscience at Reggae Sun Fest 2012. Conscience, what's up? Vibes, you know. You understand? Shell to the ground. The show is nice, even though it's still nice. I'm at the backstage. Mad. Yeah, man. Yo, how the party I look so. Just me. Conscience, you have managed over the years to keep it, you know, consistent with your hits, hits after hits. How have Conscience managed to do this? Just love music, you know. So it no matter, it's not a matter of me I try to make hits. Me I try to make good songs. And if the people them love them and turn them into hits, me I just thank God. Yeah. And what has the journey in the music taught you over the years? The most important thing? I want to tell you, say, it, it, it shows you say, ambition are the key, you know. Once you have ambition, no matter what come from the side and come knock you off shock, just have ambition and you see you move towards the goal and you must go back on the track where you're supposed to depend. Who do you want to say what's up to? You know, more I say what's up to the whole of New York, the whole tri state, big up on yourself, you see what I say? And the whole of the Caribbean, Jamaica, the whole of Europe, you know, the something set up. What's up to everybody, big up. You hear me now? Conscience I represent for what's up New York. We no fright no for nobody. No boy, no bother than we. Gala bubble, bubble, gala bubble. What's up, New York? Mad. Welcome back. We're here at Redberry Jamaican Restaurant and Cuisine right here in East New York, 686 Hegeman Avenue in Brooklyn. Now, I hope you enjoyed that really hot interview that we had with Conscience. It was 2012 Reggae Sum Fest. All the hot stuff, you know, what's up, likes to give you nothing but the best. But Labor Day 2012 wrapped up and our very own H. Diggy was on the scene getting all the one-on-ones. So here they are. Check them out right here. You're watching What's Up New York. What's up New York? Oh man, I'm talking to the most powerful and influential political mother here in New York. <laughs> all right? In the person of Una Clark. Good day. Good day, sister. Good day. How are you? It's so good to see you guys out here. Well, thank you for your contribution to me being out here. <laughs> that, that's perfectly all right. Um, we're all together. We're all one people. And the struggle is one struggle for all of us. Oh, um, but this is um, Labor Day. It is Caribbean American Day on the Parkway, as I claim it to be and I know that this Labor Day parade will be as lively as all the others um, before it and the others to come and I am just so proud that today in particular Harry Belafonte my role model my mentor and my friend is one of the Grand Marshals for today and no one deserves to be on the Parkway um, for his legendary work in human rights, civil rights, and whenever you need Harry Belafonte, you can always get him. I never forget when my campaign for the city council was down and everybody says he's an artist, he won't come. He came to Picnic House in Prospect Park and in one performance, he raised all the money I needed for my election. Wow. Yes. Now, um, speaking of this event, it's a great day for, for Caribbean people. It's one of the largest grossing, if not the largest grossing, single event um, in the state. Um, but the organization itself is lacking. Um, I think that the organization has to become a lot more business-like. You have to put business and pleasure together and let the business drive the pleasure. You can't go from year to year to raise the money to keep something like this going. We need to invest in it. And I don't know that they have put together a business plan that can call for an investment. This is 45 years. And after 45 years, there should be no struggle as to how we fund, how we pay the prizes, and what we do in order to make sure that this is not only um, speak of our culture, it talks about our astuteness, our politics, and our power. You see, other ethnic groups know how to put money, politics, and power together so that they are rock solid. We are always shaky. When we have one thing, we don't have the other. When we have the other, we don't have the ingredients. We need to put all of the ingredients together that makes this not only an institution, but a worthy institution that is well funded. There is no lack of money in the Caribbean American community. And the minute one ethnic group takes a corner on something, we get no place. We all have to work it together to accomplish what we will. 
Thank you very much. Yes, but again, before I get finished, I just want the Caribbean American community in particular to know that their vote must rock Barack this year. <laughs> Our vote must rock Barack. We have more people who need immigration papers, mm -hmm. who need their citizenship, mm -hmm. who need to be pardoned for simple things that they have done, and we have to make sure that immigration policy work for us the way it worked for Irish Americans, Italian Americans, any other group. Um, Latino Americans, they are organized. We have to be more organized. We can't be under the radar. We have to be above the radar and we have to be a part of the fight. And the fight is for justice. Um, I watch the I watch the Republican um, convention and when they talk about um, taking back the country, they mean we want to take back before civil rights. They are talking about we taking back anything we gave you before the 60s, mm -hmm. which is our civil rights. Amen. And if we don't see the code word and understand what it means, why all of these new voter laws are going there, it's because somebody want to stifle the progress of black Americans. All right, New York, welcome back. We're outside Red Berry Cuisine, a Jamaican restaurant located at 686 Hagerman Avenue, right here in the East New York section of Brooklyn. Talking to the man that makes it go down right here on the grill. Introduce yourself. Well, you don't know, jerk chicken is something I said, we represent Jamaica a lot. You understand me? Anyway, when I really go, you represent jerk chicken, you understand me? All right now, I'm just here at Red Berry Cuisine. Just you know some natural spices and some chicken, some fish. Just doing up the, the natural way, you know. The real way, I think the flavors of people looking for and asking for. Okay. What makes it jerk chicken and not barbecue chicken? I, I'm trying to understand it. Well, uh, jerk. Spices of hot and smoke. Pepper, smoke, the flavor, you know. Barbecue on the sweet side, you know. Smoke good is barbecue, but jerk, you know, the hot and the smoke together, real spices, you know, that's jerk. All right, so give me three reasons to come down to Redberry. Number one, the jerk chicken is excellent. Them fried chicken is crazy good. The atmosphere is good. You know, if you want this, that real Dutch pot flavor from back in the islands, come right here. You get that real flavor you're looking for. Right, that's what's up. Anybody you want to say what's up to? You don't know my daughters and my son, the whole Giava family, you know, because I know it's a from St. Mary, you know, St. Mary for life, you know. Mom and dad have a body. Bless it. Rasta. What's up, New York? Welcome back. If you're just joining us, welcome. Today we are outside Red Berry Cuisine, Jamaican restaurant located at 686 Hegeman Avenue right here in Brooklyn. That's between Van Sicklin and Hendricks. Now today I have the extreme pleasure of being with the fireworks. And it's not even the 4th of July. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, man. Rasta. Blessed, blessed. Now, we've seen each other, we've spoken to each other, but never under these circumstances, right? So, um, welcome to What's Up New York, first of all. Blessing thanks, my life. Blessing thanks. What's Up New York, fireworks, straight. No relation to the 4th of July. Give thanks. Yeah, man. So, now, I hear that, you know, you're taking it back. You have a brand new video. We're featuring some ska, some throwback dancing. Tell us about that. Yes, I Well, right now, free up video. Facebook, YouTube, all about. A new video, ska. Something different for the people, them. I don't know, normal, you see me? Ska, I said. So we are bringing it back to the people, them foundation. You see me, I said. Just look for some little comedy in the video, too. I don't know, right, right, not seriously. A fun, fun video right, right. for the Empress, them, you see me? So, yeah, man. So, you know, tell people about fireworks. Who is Fireworks? Well, Fireworks is just a cultural artist, you know? Yeah, man, cultural artist, right? Yeah, and just to come bring the cultural music to the people, them. Straight Firework. A long time, me I do it, you know what I mean? I know, Celeste is at the time now, is it, to put out the music. Alright, so, so why this type of music as opposed to any, any other style? Why this style of music as opposed to any other style? 
Yeah. Well, I'm not for say a style, you know. Me just want to give the people them something different, apart from what they keep hearing and listening to and visualizing on TV. You know what I mean? And as a rasta, the video will have people looking at it in a different aspect. All right. Now I want to see it. So why don't you set it up for the people? Yes, I. The fireworks. And this is a brand new video on WhatsApp New York TV. You see it, WhatsApp TV. Free up fireworks. Straight. All right, show us some scare. Link up, link up, can jam your burn and roots me a drink up. Make me smile, love she a think up, rose petal, pan a bed me a sprinkle. She saw blush, hush me no simple. This and a loss, I bust that jingle. She's with me, no she no single. All night with we eat, after we no nimble. Ring tam ping, I shine a blink too. No simple me say, she know I mingle. Give her the fire and the works of my sister. Scare melody, she a sing to not disco. In a me ear, she whisper, I miss you. Me answer back, me can't resist you. Well, that two day I bust like pimple, press this a press. Me breast them no wrinkle, girl, you really grew. Me baby, and your eyes are soothe me, lady. Come with me and let us be free. Girl, you really groove me, baby, and your eyes just soothe me, lady. Come with me now, let us be free. She want give me, give me. She no giddy giddy, so me tilly tilly. I me diggy diggy. She no dibby dibby. Chow, see me, see me. When you see her pass, no say for me. Me open up all lock with me fire key, and she love it climb from me tall tree. She a request I stop constantly, but a quickie. This a one nightly, on and on and on and on. Hold on, hold on, girl. You and I pan a loving tour. Waste the time and close the double doors. No disturb and door knocks, ignore. Four shut off, drink some up poor. Dim the lights, oh, I'm more. Good feeling, lovely feeling. When me feeling, the world's revealing. Girl, you really groove me, baby. And your eyes are soothe me, lady. Come with me and let us be free. Girl, you really groove me, baby. And your eyes just soothe me, lady. Come with me now. Let us be free. You and I have to link up, link up. Can't jam your burn and roots me a drink up. Make me smile. Love she a think up. Rose petal. On a bed me a sprinkle. She saw blush. Hush me no simple. This and a loss. I bust a jingle. She's with me. No, she no single. All night with we eat. After we no nimble. Ring pump. I shine and I blink too The simple means say she know I mingle Give her the fire and the works and my sister Scare melody she sing to not disco In a me ear she whisper I miss you Me answer back, me can't resist you Well that two day I bust like pimple Press this a press, me breast them no wrinkle Girl you really groove me baby And your eyes just soothe me lady Come with me and let us be free Girl you really groove me baby And your eyes just soothe me lady Come with me now, let us be free What's up, New York? If you're just joining us, welcome. If you've been there all along, well, welcome back. Um, we are here inside Red Berry uh, Cuisine Jamaican Restaurant located at 686 Hagerman Avenue right here in Brooklyn. That's between Van Sicklin and Hendrix. And we're here with the proprietor, the owner, the uh, brainchild, the chief cook, and bottle washer. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Hi, um, Toya, aka Venetia. I own Redberry Cuisine. Well, that's my dream. Always want to be a chef. Finally, it's coming through. So I'm so really happy. Yeah. And we specialize in all type of Caribbean food. Well, the best. Jerk chicken, roast fish, steamed fish, escabeet fish, corrigot, oxtail, you name it, hall. We have it here. So out of all the businesses you could have opened, why a restaurant? Well, uh, I've been cooked since I was six in the kitchen with my grandmother. So that's something that I love. You know what I mean? I, word can't even explain. So it's, it's been my dream. So, I mean, I was going to school for computer programming, and then I stopped and I asked myself, what do I really want to do? And it came to me. I chef, have my own business, open my own restaurant, and I actually stopped and went straight to culinary school. So how long have you been uh, through a culinary school? Two years, you can see. Yes, yes, I have my shirt, yes, yes, the Art Institute, yes, 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 representing. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I went there like a couple of years ago. 
then I refused to enslave myself for anybody in the kitchen. So I went and get a job in the social service, worked for six years, saved my money, and finally. It's here. So what would you say now, doing all of that, going through all of that, and achieving what you've achieved so far, what would you say to somebody out there who might be working a regular job and unhappy, um, and, and, and you know, but they're scared to take the next step? What, what, what kind of advice would you give to them? Just, 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 just stock it out. I'm not really basically saying like kiss asses for what you want, but save your money. If I do it, anybody can do it. It's your dream. Anyone has a dream, go for it. You just have to put your mind to it, and it's there. Now, um. Tell me a little bit more about Red Berry, the name. Well, Red Berry basically came from where I'm from in Jamaica. Well, my grandfather, he kind of moved to that little community and he made the name and make it Red Berry. So he been there, he died, he passed away. So, so it's like a tribute to my dead grandfather, Red Berry. You know, that's where I'm from back home. So um, talk about the hours of operation. When you open? Well, we do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you could catch breakfast from six and then um, seven, really. Seven, basically, seven. And then we close at 11. Okay. Seven days a week. Seven to eleven, Sunday to Sunday. Yes, Sunday to Sunday. Now, is there anybody before we go? You know, first of all, thank you for inviting me. The food is delicious. I'm looking forward to taking some of that fish and jerk chicken home. You know, because I'm greedy like that. Um, is there anybody you want to say what's up to? First, I want to say thanks to all my family that's really had my back and support my friends, my co-workers from BRC. They really had my back. My great friend Sean, you know, you always had my back, give me good encouragement, say I could do it. And everyone that support me, all my customers, That's even you. <laughs> well, I'm a brand new customer. Yes. <laughs> That's what's up, New York. Red Berry uh, Cuisine, Jamaican restaurant located at 686 Hegerman Avenue in the East New York section of Brooklyn. That's between um, Van Sicklin and Hendrix, man. I recommend it. And you know some greedy already. And everywhere I go, I have to eat some food. Because, yes. <laughs> All right, so come check it out. Because that's what's up, New York. Yummy. <laughs> Well, that's it, New York. We're all finished here at the Red Berry Cuisine Jamaican Restaurant located at 686 Hegerman Avenue between Van Sicklin and Hendricks here in the East New York section of Brooklyn. What do you think of the spot? I really enjoyed it. The food was awesome. Very cozy little spot in the grand opening. They did it grand. You know what my favorite thing about them is? What? They've got food. <laughs> <laughs> F-O-O-D. He's a, like they call you, the unofficial food specialist. Food. <laughs> Food's good. Anyway, yeah. is there a, a business or anything you want to big up or say what's up to before we, we go? Yeah, I want to say what's up to uh, my Twitter followers. That's right. Follow me. At, this is my shameless plug, everybody, so don't even don't even feel no way about it. At Lydia Patel. You know, got to get on the followers on the tweets. Tweets and Instagrams. I'll be uh, putting up some interesting photos. Some food photos are going to be up there too. So, food. Yes. Yeah. What about, you know, any other ventures, radio, TV, any other thing you're into? Just stay tuned. Keep on the Facebook and the Twitter. You'll get all that info coming up. All right. Now, um, you can always check me at uh, H Diggy. Uh, H Diggy uh, at Twitter or. Um, a David H. Diggy Duncan uh, on Facebook and check out some brand new pictures. I have interesting pictures up there. Okay, that's good. You may see a picture of me when I was a baby or something. Well. Or maybe ladies in my <laughs> natural state. Hmm. We'll have to go check that out. All right, and you can also join both of us on uh, OneCaribbeanRadio.com. Yes, each and every morning. We take up from 6 till 12, so make sure you check it out Monday to Friday, www.onecaribbeanradio.com. Yes, go out there. It's getting really close to that time, everybody, so you want to make sure you cast your ballots and, and vote. November 6th? It is November 6th, so just, uh, you know, just over a month away. It's been four years already. It has. It's coming up fast. So uh, we're looking forward to four more years of Barack and no more years of that other dude. 
Yeah. Right. Anyway, people, um, and you can also join us. Uh, what, that's what's up, New York. You can tune in um, to this station at this time every week, or you can uh, look for us on YouTube at. What's up, New York? Lydia Patel and all that good stuff. And uh, can I just say it was I had so, so much fun hosting with you again today. Thank you for asking me to come back. Uh, do I get another dip? Sure. Well, New York, until next time, <laughs> take it yourselves and each other, because that's What's Up, New York. Welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. Welcome back to that same old place that you laughed about. Well, the names have all changed since you hung around But those dreams have remained and they've turned around Who'd have thought they'd lead ya? Who'd have thought they'd lead ya? Back here where we need ya Back here where we need ya Yeah, we tease him a lot Cause we got him on the spot Welcome back Welcome back Got to face in life. 